Hey guys, Jan here in the North View Model Shop. All right, this is a build we've been kind of messing around now for, well, I think almost since September of uh, 2015, slowly picking away at it. It's a super cool kit. It's a Panzer tank, but it's a German Bruck in Leaker 4B. Um, I didn't consult uh, Google Translate on that one. Apparently it means bricklayer or bridge layer or something. I don't know. Anyway, super cool kit. Uh, God knows how many parts, hundreds of them. Uh, photo etch out the wazoo. Anyway guys, uh, probably not the car guy's cup of tea, but you know what, we're having fun with this one, we're picking away slowly, so we figured we'd shoot some videos for the uh, the armor guys up there. Plus I've noticed the Styrene Syndicate, which I follow quite a bit now, um, they're doing a pile of Panzer stuff, a pile of uh, 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 King Tigers and stuff like that, so you know what, this video is kind of for those boys right now. Hey, you know, I'm building the tank too. Not as good as theirs, but we're still building one. Anyway guys, let's uh, pull that camera in and we'll have a closer look at this baby. All right, guys, here we go. Super cool kit. Um, we're kind of, like I said, we're just kind of messing with it and kind of moving forward with what we can uh, what we can kind of plug away at. But uh, a pile of parts. Like, there's a lot of stuff right here, and there's still a box over here full, full of parts. Um, right now, we are working on just the sections for the bridging, um, these really heavy truss pieces here. And they got a pile of detail, and then there's a pile of photo etch to go along with those pieces. Um, the bridge section is kind of neat. It looks like it's metal framed with uh, wooden planks, and the, you know the details really. He's really already got that wood grain to it. Um, we got a whole Gilbert over at the Styron Syndicate, and uh, he fired me a few videos that he's done in the past on how to get a wood grain. So we uh, we're gonna take his advice and try to play with that a little bit, see if we can nail something out. Um, road wheels, uh, a pile of road wheels, like with any tank, you got a pile of them. There's a lot of work to get these things to look cool. Uh, we did it on the Sherman, we're going to do it again here, it's probably individual wrap, and uh, I think I'll try to do some videos on that, um, just because it was fun. It's, it's, it's frustrating and fun at the same time. Um, of course, we're using our, to me, an extra thin, um, exacto, a good spit of clippers, and, you know, the sanding sticks. And these sanding sticks are really, really nice. We hit them with the coarse and then buff them again a little bit with the medium. And it seems to be doing the trick. This uh, the trumpeteer plastic is uh, quite uh, quite a nice little product to work with. Um, we got the Tamian uh, uh, little putty. Not really needing it a whole lot. A little odd spot here and there, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, the photo etch. It's neat because the kit. I think they must have added the photo etch after the fact to kind of spruce the kit up because it came. It comes with like this is the plastic fender that should go right here, but. They give you everything to bend up a oh, really sweet. Like, I mean, this is mint as friggin' anything. Um, piece of photo etch you can put together. Uh, it's still not even done. There's still, I think, five more pieces you put on there to kind of top her all off. Oh, yes. Check out the friggin' detail in here. What's really cool is um, this main drive. If you pop that off, there's a set of planetary gears that are that's, uh, casted into the actual hull. So you could kind of show this as a um, you know in a diorama or as a, a damage piece. With well, this removed and the gears are in there, and it's I was impressed. Um, I mean, I had no intention of showing it that way, but it is there to work with. Oh, lots of practice putting this thing back there. You'll notice no engine or anything. That's not due to the trumpeteer. They actually comes with quite a detailed interior, uh, main engine, uh, drive seats, all that stuff. I think. What we're going to do is just take that and make it a kit on its own, and maybe do like a vignette at some point for um, for one of the future shows we like to attend to, kind of like a, a Panzer uh, interior vignette. Be kind of neat, I think. But anyway, um, a pile of uh, a photo etch and a pile of bending. Um, I'm lucky where I work. We uh, we have a shop uh, f uh, that's staffed with really really good metal workers and welders, and uh, I actually consulted a good friend of mine who works in one of these shops on how to properly bend complex bends and stuff like this. And he kind of gave me a, a crash course on how to do it and I went back with my little break and did the same little tips and tricks and uh, it, the second set of, the second fender went a lot better. But uh, anyway guys, this video is dragging on a little bit, but uh, yeah, the Trompeteer German Brück in Liger 4B is 135th scale. Um, oh, right there, look at that, 749 pieces, and I believe it. There's pieces in here, I don't even know where they go yet, but uh, 
great little kit. But uh, anyway, guys, I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Styrene, Styrene Syndicate. I've been checking you guys' stuff out a lot. Keep those pictures posted in there. Uh, kind of getting inspiration for you guys to uh, take this armor tank and uh, really hammer it out for you. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Adios.